Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. We're here at the University of Virginia with the Darden School of Business Dean, Scott Beardsley. Welcome. Thanks, John. So Scott, even though you spent most of your life working with corporate executives at McKinsey, you come to this campus and you seem a natural in connecting with students. How did that happen? At the end of the day, I love students. And not only are my own children at the college age, 23, 25, 27, we have three boys. The whole purpose of being a dean or being in education is to help other people achieve their full potential. Hey, come on in. There's nothing I love more than taking a student that is trying to find their way in the world and help them find their passion and then to help them be on their way to making the world a better place. Darden is a place that can take someone from anywhere and help them to go anywhere. Okay, social media. It's a stakeholder group. It's becoming a huge one, right? So Scott, while MBA applications have been in decline at the top schools in the past two years, you have the ironic consequence of these incredible career outcomes. In 2019, as we sit here, your school is about to report among the best pay and placement rates in its history. Mm -hmm. Why? I think it speaks to the quality of the people that are coming through the school and the education that they're getting. The employers are finding that our students have something to offer and the need for outstanding business leaders is going up. It is at an all-time high and it will continue to grow. People who want the full impact of a truly transformative education are gonna certainly choose yes. the two-year on-campus experience. I mean, the market speaks for itself yes. and students self-select into the formats that they like. Some people wanna keep working, some people don't. Some people wanna be career switchers, some don't. One of the things I would encourage each of you to do at all times is to think about who are all the stakeholders involved? Why are they telling you what they're telling you? What's in their interest. In a volatile world where uncertainty is rising, options have greater value. We know this from financial theory. In effect, business education is an option. You've created more possibilities for yourself to be reinserted into a workforce in many different ways, in an evolving landscape. So one of the innovations that contributed to the great career outcomes was a STEM designated track in your MBA program, which helped international students land jobs in the US. Yes, and what that allows any international student in particular to get is three years of optional professional training, which is in effect a pathway to getting a visa to stay in the United States for up to three years. What this also allows students that find the right company uh, is to have three shots at the H-1 visa process. So, Scott, we're here in Pavilion One, which is on the university's lawn at the center of the campus, the Thomas Jefferson Academic Village. Yes. Some deans live in these pavilions, uh, mostly it's students. Why did you decide to live here? How many chances in a lifetime might you have to live in a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is where the cornerstone of the University of Virginia was laid 200 years ago, approximately by Madison Monroe and Jefferson. Uh, right here, this was the beginning of the University of Virginia. The culture of the place is collaborative, it's historical, it's about excellence, and how proximity with students and faculty creates the conversations and the relationships that you just can't have in a virtual world. You've increased fundraising to record levels. You've secured two top 10 uh, rankings positions for your MBA. Almost most impressively to me, you've recruited 31 new faculty. And that's something I really care about is you know, having great faculty, having a great educational experience because after all, that is what education is about. It's about learning and you spent a lot of time increasing the amount of fundraising devoted to scholarships. Yes, we know that students that have a lower debt load are able to have more options that they can consider. For example, if you want to be an entrepreneur and you have a lower debt load, it is much easier to think about starting your own company right. rather than worrying about how I'm going to pay back my student loan. At Darden, we're very focused on making sure that anybody from anywhere can have the right to go and get the best education they can. We have incredible momentum right now. It's a very exciting time to be at the school. My objective is to use that momentum fully to take the school to its full potential. Well, Scott, it's been a pleasure to sit with you in your home here at Pavilion One. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. It's been nothing but a pleasure. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Thanks for watching.